I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your weekly stash for the week ending January 27th. Cureleaf Holdings is finally exiting a trio of legacy western states in search for better profits. The exodus will begin this month with the proactive closure of the majority of its operations, including its production and cultivation facilities in California, Colorado, and Oregon. The company cited the lack of enforcement over the illicit market and price compression as to why it was tapping out of the West Coast. The company is also laying off 10% of its workforce, and they've said it is expected to save $60 million with all these moves. New York-based Ascend Wellness announced its expansion into Maryland with its $19 million purchase of Debbie Holdings, which runs four operational medical marijuana dispensaries. The move marks the seventh state in which Ascend Wellness has a footprint, and they are already in Illinois, Massachusetts, Michigan, New Jersey, Ohio, and Pennsylvania. The long-awaited federal guidance on cannabis clinical drug trials for humans has finally arrived. The guidance document from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, follows the 2018 Federal Farm Bill, which removed cannabis with less than 0.3% THC uh, from the list of controlled substances. Now, the move could dramatically accelerate the value of the CBD industry, which has been waiting on the guidance, and it could also help the industry back up some of those health claims that companies have been making on their websites that have gotten them some warning letters from the FDA. In state news, Mississippi began its medical cannabis sales this week. The state legalized medical marijuana just a year ago. And also this week, New York opened its first social equity applicant dispensary and the state approved 30 more retail licenses. In legal news this week, Nike is suing a Texas cannabis company for using the slogan, Just Hemp It. And a Michigan developer filed a $60 million lawsuit claiming delays to get the licensing led to a loss of funding and tenants for its project. And Helping Hands Wellness Center in Nevada had its licenses suspended after inspectors discovered that employees were diverting product to the illicit market. As a reminder, you can now submit applications to the 2023 Green Market Report Women's Leadership Awards. Just head over to the website and there's a link in our Summits tab. Next week, we expect earnings from High Tide, Scott's Miracle Crow, and MedMen. I'm Deborah Borchardt and this has been the Green Market Report's Weekly Stash.